Hey guys, just want to get here and today I've got the review of the Urban Army Gear case for the iPhone 5. So Urban Army Gear was nice enough to send me three colors, the Navigator, the Outland, and the Scout. These are kind of like what I'd call an alternative to the OtterBox Defender case. It is a very, very tough case, but it isn't nearly as bulky and ugly as the OtterBox Defender case. These will set you back at $34.99, so significantly cheaper than the OtterBox Defender, and it definitely looks really, really nice, a nice rugged looking case, an industrial style case that is great for anybody looking for a good level of protection. So here it kind of shows you kind of like the features. It has an armor shell impact resistant soft core, and it has easy to access buttons, a screen protector with cleaning kit included, and it is feather light composite construction. So it does kind of have like a hard fit to it, um, and the inside is nice and soft, kind of like a honeycomb finish, again to absorb shock, but at the same time, keep it away from your device so you will not scratch it. So let's just pull the tab out here and slide the case out itself. For $34.99, you're getting a really strong case, a really cool looking case, but at the same time, you're also getting a screen protector to protect your screen as well, which is a great value for this type of case. So let's just take out the screen protector, just like what you would expect. It does have like the cutouts for the microphone and also the camera and the proximity sensor. And there's just like a small little cleaning kit and insulation kit. And taking a look at the case here, I've got the white one here. It definitely matches the iPhone really well and it has this nice stainless steel finish for the logo, which is very, very um, stylish. So give you guys a closer look at that. It also has those nice screws on the back that holds the case together, but again, gives it an added look to the industrial feel of it. On the inside, you've got a kind of honeycomb style and also it's really soft on the inside so you should be able to um, protect your iPhone from scratching it and in the case of a drop the corner and the back will definitely absorb all the shock. So let's see you guys take a look at that. Turn around and this case isn't actually too thick and it also has all its cutouts and buttons very nicely laid out. So now it's time to grab our iPhone 5 and let's just stick it in there from the button side in and should be pretty easily it snaps on pretty easily and it is also pretty easy to get off as well so just there we go we've got the case on there let's give you guys a quick look at it on the side and the back as you can see it fits really well with the white iPhone 5 it keeps it kind of like an in unison look with the iPhone 5 so definitely think it looks really stylish and the black one also looks really sick but the black and orange will be for a giveaway for you guys in the future so just giving you guys a look at it, the camera is also nicely cut out and it's also black lined, so you shouldn't have any problem with using your flash or recording videos. Taking a look at the bottom, the headphone jack is very nicely exposed. It actually has a bigger cutout than most of the cases I've seen so far. And the lightning dock connector is also really nicely cut out as well as the speakers. So you shouldn't have any problems with any constraints with this case while it's on it. One disadvantage could be if you're looking for like a really rugged case, you probably would have hoped for something that covers the bottom and everything, but this is more for like the drop protection, not really for a little bit of water resistance and so on, but it does give you a pretty good level of drop protection because as you can see, the top and the bottom has a nice shock absorbent lining and the back has a nice composite shell, but at the same time, it doesn't add much bulk to the phone itself. Like I said, the camera is really nice to cut out. Just give you guys a closer look at that. I think they did a very good job overall in terms of the cutouts on this case. On the side, like I said, this case doesn't add too much bulk to the iPhone 5 either. It's not the thinnest case out on the market, but obviously you would probably expect some thickness from a case that's meant to be a drop protection case, and it gives you a pretty good level of lay on the table design as you can see. So from doing my testing on the desk and just playing around with the case, I obviously didn't drop this off the roof of my brand new iPhone 5, but I have to say this case should be able to withstand lots of drop protection. It's really, really nicely constructed and its technologies are really great, but at the same time, it gives you the nice look and feel of your iPhone 5 and everything is still very nicely accessible. So this case gets my thumbs up. Be sure to check them out. A giveaway will be coming soon. But for now, I'll see you in my next This episode of JTG Apple was brought to you by Selly Hosting. With web hosting plans starting at $1.99 a month, check them out at sellyhosting.com.